let's go win it. You know, I don't think there's any question of what, what we expected to do. Uh, just the confidence that we have in each other in that huddle. You know, we've been in some tight games here in the fourth quarter at home the past few weeks and uh, found a way to win. So I think there's a strong belief that no matter what happens, if, as long as we're within uh, you know, a, a scoring chance, that we're going to find a way to win. And uh, it's team effort, obviously. You know, we get off the field after going for it uh, with less than two minutes to go. Defense comes up huge, obviously. Special teams made some really big plays uh, on those field goals. So, you know, <clears throat> a lot of credit goes to, to everybody just finding a way, just believing as a, as a team and finding a way to win. Well, everyone's pumped. You know, it's, it's fun to win a game like that. You know, battle back in the fourth quarter at home and, and find a way to win is a ton of fun. You know, just uh, the excitement. That's why, that's why we love playing a game is, is competing and, uh, and finding ways to win and just uh, that bond you create, you know, in, in moments like that. So uh, definitely a, a big win for us and uh, use this bye week to get healthy, rest up, and uh, just try to build on, build on what we're doing here in the past few weeks and, and – Continue that the rest of the season. Similar offensive line, the three guys gathered along the field. They said that they told each other growing up. Is there anything that you said to the receivers, running backs, or anybody that you guys were out there? I was just talking to the guys, and sorry, excuse me, my phone here. Um, talking to the guys, just tell them, hey, let's go win this thing. There's nothing, no magic words or anything like that. It's just a belief and, and confidence in each other. And uh, I told the receivers, I'm going to need you guys to make some plays. And they did. You know, you had uh, Ferkser on the right side with a, a double move coming back inside, huge play. Then Humphreys there on the left side, you know, similar type thing on, on the left side. So uh, guys made plays in big moments. And like you said, started with the offensive line. They were able to give me time uh, for those long developing uh, routes down the field. And uh, when you're able to do that, it puts a lot of pressure on defense and a secondary to, to cover for a long time. So uh, like you said, started with the offensive line, give me time, and then guys outside making plays. A couple of them were scrambles on uh, on pass plays. Just uh, I think one of the third down conversion was a scramble. Uh, they did a good job passing it off. They were playing a uh, robber, and they passed off the uh, the in routes. And I was about to throw it to AJ, but they passed it off. So um, really good job, good coverage by those guys. They gave me a lane. I was able to get the first down. Um, had a couple zone reads in there, mixed in, and uh, we were able to create uh, some some yardage down the field on that. The two point play was a, was a read as well, and. You know, saw Lane there, and was thankfully able to get the uh, get the yards again. The end zone took a shot in the back, but uh, was able to get in. Oh, it's huge! You know, we knew coming into this game that that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to get Derek going. We wanted to try to try to eat the clock up, stay on the field, and 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 keep it running. You know, and um, we struggled at times doing that, and then that sometimes in the games we did that a really good job of that. You know, so. Um, when we get Derek going, that's a good thing for us. The offensive line, obviously, creating the holes for him, but then he's just a, a big, strong, tough runner who does a great job of getting downhill and, and getting tough yards for us. So then, not only does that, but then he has the speed to to take it to the house once you give him a lane. You know, I think he broke two or three tackles on that before, you know, having the speed. Uh, and just after I handed that off, I looked and I saw both of our receivers down the field finishing, and that's something that <clears throat> you don't see a whole lot. I think of across the NFL is is receivers blocking. Finishing, you know, down the field on on long runs, and I think that really obviously started with the offensive line, but that really springboarded Derek once he was able to break a tackle. You know, there wasn't those corners peeling off and, and making the play on him because AJ and, and Tajay were making some big blocks down the field. And not not in general, but like I said, you know, I felt like. We had some momentum on the ground. We felt like we kind of had them on the ropes a little bit, uh, putting some tempo on them. And, and up front, our guys were just doing a great job giving Derek lanes, and Derek was running hard. So once that momentum started going, he just kind of kind of ride that wave and, and keep that pressure on him. You just over a year ago that Berkser was an undrafted free agent trying to make the team, and now he's a, seems like an integral part of the offense. What can you say about what he does well, and it seems like you two have a pretty good connection there? Yeah, I have a lot of confidence in Berkser. And, what he brings to the table. You know, he's a shifty guy, uh, a guy that uh, that moves a lot like a receiver. 
from the tight end position. We feel really good about our matchups, uh, really no matter who's guarding him there. And uh, he just continues to, to make plays. You know, big play down in the red zone, getting held, almost yanked to the ground, and was able to go make an extended catch for a touchdown. Uh, and then the, the big catch there in that, uh, that two-minute drive with the, uh, with the double move, had a guy on his hip, was able to lean him, get him out, and then come back in and, and make a big play for us. Yeah, I, honestly, I didn't know where the ball was at, um, but then I felt it right there on my hip and thought I had it. I definitely had two hands on it and got up with the football. Uh, that guy never never had the ball, so I, I was definitely shocked that uh, that they gave Kansas City the ball there, especially after after reviewing it. But um, I guess that's some, sometimes the way it goes. You know, you got to give credit to our defense, hold them to three points there. That was huge, uh, you know, deep in, uh, deep in our own territory and, and defense held them to three points, so that really you know kept us in the game. Ryan, after the two point conversion, where you guys stand on the sidelines and watch the, the MVP Patrick Mahomes try to drive him down the field, what was it like watching that? And when you saw the uh, the block, what were you thinking? Oh, it was huge. You know, I, I was holding my breath there as uh, as the, their offense went on the field. You know, they just have so much speed, and obviously Patrick is extremely talented. So um, knew they had a little bit of time left and time out. So that really creates uh, a lot of opportunity for an offense to take shots anywhere on the field. So. Um, hit that big shot down the field and, and knew they were going to be in field goal territory. So uh, hold my breath a little bit, but you know, special teams came up huge. I saw a replay of, of Kalu's get off on that, and he timed it up perfectly. Couldn't time it up any better. So just an amazing play by, by a guy there. Um, first of all, defense holding them where they were at, keeping it a long field goal, and then you know, Kalu getting off and, and making a huge play for us. Yeah, just kind of the way the game went, uh, we weren't throwing the ball a whole lot. It wasn't a whole lot of opportunities, um, you know, for, for the ball to be spread around to a bunch of different guys. So uh, our guys just kept fighting, kept believing, and uh, kept playing hard. You know, like I said, they were blocking downfield. The receivers were blocking downfield. There was no complaining. Um, the, the opportunities came. They made plays. You know, AJ made a couple big plays for us. Uh, he's, like I said, Ferkser, then Hump there on the, uh, the two-minute drive. So uh, just the belief that, that we have and, and the selflessness that, that our guys have that, um, Find a way to win. That's the most important thing is, is finding a way to win and, and staying ready because you never know when your number's going to get called. And they came in came in big in a clutch moment for us. What's this last month been like for you? I mean, you talk about staying ready. I mean, six weeks ago you were, you were lyrical and all of a sudden you didn't want to hear the starter. You want to shoot out today. What's, what's, what's this been like the last four weeks? And then how do you feel about things you know, going forward? For you? It's been fun. I love playing football. Uh, I love going out competing. I love practicing with the guys. You know, I love I love the whole the whole thing, everything it brings to the table. So, I'm having a lot of fun. I love uh, preparing. You know, just trying to push these guys, get the most out of them. And uh, and game days are a lot of fun, especially when you win. So, um, having a lot of fun right now. Just got to keep grinding, keep you know putting the work in, and and uh, getting ourselves ready to play every Sunday. This is an offense that points have been at a premium at times this year. What was kind of the mindset going into this ball game? Yeah, we knew it was going to be huge to, to score. I think our, our biggest key was, was to control the ball. And they actually did a great job of controlling the ball, putting these long drives together and keeping us off the field. So uh, I wouldn't say we did a great job of that the whole game. But um, when it came down to it in the fourth quarter and we needed to, to control the ball and, and, and run the football, we were able to do that. And uh, we found a way to win.